Hey guys, welcome to part 17 of my and Palace Let's Play. Um, so I wanted to do this because I played a bit with the characters. And then, um, Abby is now pregnant. And I don't know who the father is. And you don't know either. But it's, you're probably wondering how the hell is she pregnant. Um, let's see. Abby Parham had some fun with seeing the werewolf um, in the last part, as you could see. And maybe she got up to some stuff with um, her household buddy too. So who is it? Hmm? We don't know. I don't know, but we'll find out two options how she could be pregnant so I will one exhibit A or exhibit B don't know who it is but we will find out hopefully um, she wants it to be a girl which I'm completely fine with um, can't really promise it but mm. that's 5,000 lifetime happiness points so um yeah she looks pretty good for a pregnant lady you have to admit it, like, guys, like, look at that. She's pretty healthy. Um, so, Abby Parham just found out that she is pregnant. She can't wait to make many more memories of the new family she is starting. So, she has four work days off as maternity leave. She was literally, like, just leaving to go off to work. Like, there's a house, and she was, like, going on the road. And then, like, um... She gets a call and um, she has days off, so she practically had like a month off of work, I know. So, um, yeah. And you also earn some money because we did some scuba diving with her and she found a treasure test, treasure test, treasure chest and um, found some gold and coins and money and cash and stuff. So we found a map piece, so we need four map pieces, and I found another treasure chest, but she needs level six of the scuba diving career, I mean scuba diving skill to be able to open it. She found three pieces of silver, uh, which I think is pretty cool, and then we found... We found a large oval cut ruby, and then we also found a large emerald cut emerald, and um, a conch shell, which is uncommon, and an uncommon Nitelli shell. So she sells these shells by the seashore. She she sells these shells by the seashore. She. she uh, she sells these shells by the seashore. Okay, let's see. She sells these shells by the seashore. She sells these shells by the seashore. She sells these shells by the seashore. It's like a tongue twister. Boobies have a hardness of 9.0 on the moss scale of mineral hardness. I don't know what that means. Very nice quality, 1.03. It's an animal. I have no idea what it is, but um, it's a fish, apparently. The virgin value of the naturally occurring emeralds has led to the synthetic manufacturing of rare and valuable emeralds. Um, didn't say anything about this. This beautiful conch brings in the sounds of the sea. There's a rumour that they are others also let you speak by the sea. I wish it actually let you. Anyway, yeah, she's pregnant. That's cool. Um, and it's also pretty weird. So now she can't go snorkeling, she can't do like anything, which is kind of sad. We don't know who the father is, but we will find out. Um, yeah, he's her boyfriend now. <laughs> Just got to mention that. Yeah, that's what happened. She had a romantic interest with him, and then like, um, so yeah, he's like, just like, I hate him now. Like, whatever. But he has a new friend that's a mermaid, so that's pretty cool. 
and uh, we'll see what we can do with her now since she is pregnant. Yeah. Okay. So, since she's pregnant, I guess it'll be best to. I don't know, go to the resort and manage it. And then, while she's going to resort, I'm going to find out um, how we can get a female. Um, whatchamacallit? Child. Still can't find a resort. That's our resort. Okay. He's just working out to improve his skill um, for work, so he's building up his work experience. So yeah. So I'm just going to look up on the internet right now how to have a girl in Sims. Okay. It's either apple or watermelon. I can't remember how to... Okay, it says, okay, so I promised to make a baby girl. Okay. We needed to eat three watermelons. The chances of her being pregnant with a watermelon, no kidding, um, a baby girl will go higher. So, can we like stop in there? And then, um, I would ditch this for that. Um, where is the grocery store? I want him to get like six watermelons or something. And I want him to drop that. That will also help improve his, um, Skill, right? So jog here. Who cares about that? Automatic. Push yourself. And then um, she's in pain, so we will get take her to Dad, Dad, the um, thingy McJigger spa to get massaged, because that's what nice people do. Okay. So now I want to set the food type. Budget ten, we can leave it like that. Um, set food food quality high, yeah, whatever. Set food type lunch. Set food type sushi. Set food quality high. Now we should get much much better reviews. So she's not hungry. So let's find some people to um. Ask about this day. Okay, so I'm like, no one's out. So that's not really going to help. She can go ahead and roast something. That seems interesting. Improve the skill to level 6. Yeah, you keep on running. Train someone. That seems so cool. Oh, that seems cute. Yeah, train someone. That seems cool. Um, I want her to voice something. I know. Oh, you need like chairs. Like I would have thought chairs come with it, but it doesn't. So whatever. Pretty sure I've downloaded that set. Just saying. Um, I think it's pretty cool. Anyway, <laughs> excuse me. Okay. I want to sell that. Like, we don't need that. Um, 
Where are we? We just use the cheaper one. Okay. Yeah, that just looks weird. Like, really, really weird. Okay. We're gonna put one nicely there, put one nicely there, and there, and there. Even though that probably still looks weird. Okay. Let's fix that. Still looks really, really weird. Okay. Um, that looks really, really weird. And, um... Okay. Okay, we'll just do it like that. Whatever. Um... Do something animal. Okay. Okay, I want to see her voice, this Addy Moon thing. Seems pretty cool so far, like, it actually looks like fish. So, school one for Island, Power, uh, Island Paradise for realism and realisticism in general. Okay. Um, uh, he's still jogging. Probably because it's like really, really far. Okay, he's there. Um, now I want you to go to the grocery store. Grocery store. Okay, buy a lottery ticket first. Then shop for groceries. Because I think that would be cool. And now did she get to eat it? Yeah, she ate it. And I think she liked it. No, you're not gonna chat with her. You're gonna chat with... Yeah, you chat with him. This guy is like, uh, no, no. Don't like him anymore. So you chat with him. And then... Um... You can go ahead and go to the spa because you're obviously like aching to bits so I'll let you go to the spa and um, get a little massage relaxing Swedish massage that should be nice because obviously a pregnant woman would love to have such a thing done to them. Okay, so we need to buy some watermelons, so we'll put that under the produce category. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so we need three watermelons. I want to see what else they have. That's interesting. A lot of this came with, um, University life, peppermint, hmm, kelp. I actually, what's her name? Abby did go um, scuba diving and um, caught some kelp, but she can't eat it because she is pregnant. But um, hopefully, she will. Oh, I hate licorice. <laughs> um, hopefully later on she will be able to, um, eat the kelp, because we had, like, we bought, like, 17, so it would be, like, such a shame to not be able to. He can't eat it, like, I don't know why, but they're not eating it, so it's kind of annoying. I want to see him eat cinnamon. Let's see him eat some cinnamon, or some like, basil or something. Okay, I want to see you eat some cinnamon, boy. Eat some cinnamon. Should be interesting. Ooh. Oh my god, mm -hmm. look at that. He doesn't even... Oh, oh my god. Herb nausea. 
Too many herbs made Austin nauseous. The thought of herbs make him sick, so they should be avoided for now. From herb. It's probably because he has so many in his, um, in his something. Yeah. Okay, you're going to go home to take a shower. And whilst you do that, I want to put everything in the fridge because, oh yeah, we did change up the house because, um, wait, let me just put, pop these away. We changed the house, well, I changed the house because, um, obviously since they're in a relationship now, I, um, changed the bed to a double bed. So they could woohoo and try for a baby. Um, because before they couldn't, because they had single beds. So now they can. So that's neat. And, um, yeah. So, i show you what I changed. Is that like a, a glitch? That was never there. Was it always like in a way like that? I bet you not. It couldn't have been. Hey guys, that's weird. Is it like because there's a tide? We're getting rid of that. Okay. I don't know if it's meant to be there. Okay, he's still nauseous. Um, I need to clean it up when you're done. So we just change the bed and change it to the same like um color scheme as that. Um, so that's the bed, and then we added this athletic thing, and I changed the fridge because he had this mood which said, tastes like fridge, so I changed it, and that's pretty much all I did, so there nothing much, no big changes at all. So yeah. Mm, that's all I got to say, pretty much. Uh, he needs a toilet. So what do you want to do? Four star resort. Become best friends with him. So I think we're going to invite him over. Or something. We should throw a party. Right? We should throw another party. We should. I think we should. So if we throw a party, we'll see... Can we, it'll be so cool, like, in Generations, can you throw, like, a baby shower party? That would be awesome. Um, a gift-giving party would be cute. Uh, 3 p.m. is fine. Full more attire. No, we'll just do, like, casual, who cares, whatever. Um, Tanisha, you can come if you want to. I want the important people to come first. Yeah, whatever, you can come. You always invite us. You have to come. You're cute. Okay, Lynn Colin, you can come. Let's invite some girls now. who are like our best friends. You can come, even though we hate you now. <laughs> um, Collins, you may come. No, Queen and Harley. Okay, whatever, that's enough. So you have a gift giving party. We could have told us that before. Okay. Um No. Okay. You may clean it. We need some space. Okay, so I guess we can move this upstairs, like, just up there. Is that enough room now, like, what else can you ask for? <laughs> Page up. Uh, we'll put this here. I don't know why I put it downstairs. I guess I kind of forgot there was an upstairs. Um, I think it's inspirational to have this upstairs, like, just to paint with inspiration from what's going on on the outside. 
Okay. That should be just about enough room. Yeah. So I think we also need some tables once again, like last time. So we're going to get the cheaper ones. No, not that cheap. Like, this cheap. Yeah. Which isn't really cheap. It's pretty expensive. Okay. Now there should be enough room. I want you to... To sleep. No, not sleep. Like, nap. And then, um, since you're finished... Ooh! Talking about a day of pampering, Happy Parham decided to spend some time at the spa. She'll always remember getting a foot massage while enjoying a hot kelp wrap. That seems nice. Um... Okay, I want you, no, not to have a nap, but to go home, yes. Oh my god, that's so freaky. Like, do we even say you can come into our house? Like, who are you? That's just so freaky. What the fudge? She like comes into the house and then she like... Okay, they must be the guests because that was just like freaky. She comes into the house, like no knocking or ding-donging or whatever and then like... Okay, wake up boy. And then want you to... I want you to... Oh, they brought gifts. Okay, more... Uh, okay. Services, call for services. Okay. Pizza delivery. Okay. I think he wants to kill him. Okay, I think he should do that. And then, um, that's food. No, not right now. I want you to, I don't know, just talk to him. Why are there so many, like, werewolves? Seriously. Okay, friendly chat. Friendly. Um, ask about day, friendly, more, tell, rescue story, what he always says. Okay. Is that, oh that's her, oh duh. Okay. And then when you're finished, call everyone to open present. This should be nice. Okay, now they're opening their presents. This is like weird because I don't know. This isn't a season's let's play, but it should be nice for everyone to like open their presents. Okay, so she's watching some gifts be opened. So busy in here. God, so like busy. Oh, that's cute. He wants to kiss her. Okay. <laughs> Did she like ask to just be friends? Oh god. 
Okay. Um. Oh my god, what's wrong with him? God. Wow. Like, how many werewolves belong in this place? God. Oh. I forgot to go. The party was nice. Yeah, you had to go because we told you to. There's a difference, you know. Okay, guys, I think we should end this part like here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys later in part 18. So, yeah, they are being weird. Sadly, loving. Anyway, that's a nice way to end this part. Goodbye, guys. Okay, so like, remember when Austin entered the lottery? Well, he just won 50,000 simoleons from the lotto. It says, congratulations, Austin McCracken just won 50,000 simoleons from the lotto. Has been deposited directly into his account, which I have no idea what that is, because Sims don't have accounts, but okay, whatever. Oh my god, 54,000 simoleons, guys, like, 54.273 simoleons. We shall now celebrate. Guys, look at that. Look at what he's holding. He's like in the middle of training her. And then he like finds out he's in the lottery and um earns I don't know how much. Like fifty thousand smolings from the lottery. Okay. Like, that's an achievement, like I do this little achievement. You're lucky boy. Like, he's so happy, like, look at him. Wow. I'm thinking they should move. Within this neighborhood, because we have a resort here. <laughs> Good to be here. Okay. Two bedrooms, one bathroom. Um, it looks really nice. Yeah. Okay. They're moving.